What's happening? I'm N64 Josh. This is another Nintendo News Minute. We're going to jump right into this thing. I do want to let you know I do this live on twitch.tv slash N64 Josh if you want to catch a live stream. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell. That's what you do, right? That's what you do. All right. Here we go. Uh, Nintendo, the Switch had an update yesterday. What did it take us up to? Like uh, 10.0.3. All right. And uh, um, this is Nintendo Life article. Looks like Sean Musgrave on Twitter says, Oh, neat. Nintendo added a filter option to the deal section of the Switch eShop app. It now says how many games are on sale at any given moment. Right now, North America has 541. So as you can see in the picture here, uh, you can click Y for filtered search. And then uh, there's a number of different filters you can, you can choose. This is showing you all the games that are on sale and... Uh, how how much how significant their sale is so 547 right now in uh in europe so lots of sales everybody was kind of wondering what is what is going on as you can see in the article it says nobody seems to know when exactly this was added but after uh investigating the change on our switch running the older update um they're pretty sure this update came along with uh 10.0.3 so there you go next up as far as uh there's some more updates here. Dead Cells had an update go live today. All right. And here's what it says. We've added 11 new affixes on active skills aimed primarily at growing the pool of affixes available for some items that didn't have enough. Yes, Corrupted Power, I'm looking at you. Uh, eight normal affixes, ice, fire, bleed, or uh, poisons on nearby floors or enemies when they affect uh, when the effect of the used active ends. A grenade, a volley of arrows, a fire spreads when a deployed trap is destroyed. Um, get all of your arrows back when using a skill. Uh, three no, new start fixes. Uh, oil and fire spread around when deployed when a deployable trap is destroyed. Push enemies around you when the effect of the used active ends. Extended duration for powers like wings. Of the crown or smoke bomb six new mobs six brand new enemies three are biome specific three are dispatched through various levels at different boss cells uh at the time being and until the live release we prefer letting you unveil their exact locations and types that's kind of cool um the common enemy pool was, pool was getting a bit too small considering the addition of new levels and the bc enemies were always too few and uh, and hence too repetitive for our taste. Two new items, a crowbar and a portable door. All right. So there you go. That went, this went live. This went live today on Switch and all other systems. So you can check out the full show notes at deadcells.com or show notes. The, sh the, the full uh, patch notes at uh, um, deadcells.com. But fire that game back up. It looks like there's some new new content there. All right, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you have a save file, when you go and get the definitive edition on Friday, you can unlock uh, 100,000 G, whether that's gold or whatever whatever the currency is. And so it might make your uh, might make your your game a little easier. And if that's the case and you don't want that, you can also you have the option to pass it up. So if you don't want the 100,000 from having the save file of Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you you don't have to uh, you don't have to collect it. There's a few other things with Xenoblade Chronicles the definitive edition. The if you're worried about the game being too difficult, you can actually turn that difficulty way down. Uh, and if you want it to be much harder, you can turn it way up. So, it's pretty pretty cool how much they're doing uh, to make this game accessible for everybody. Uh, the reviews have been going out. There's already reviews out. I've saw Game Explained. Nintendo Life has, has theirs. Nintendo Life says one of the best RPGs ever made getting a remastered. So uh, I think we could be in for a treat with this one. I know the people in my chat and my community are very, very excited for it. So, uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it as well. Lastly, I wanted to just take a quick peek at Nintendo's Twitter. They recently released a uh, a video here on... I don't know what's happening outside my window, but a video here on, on Bioshock, the, the collection making its way over to the Switch. 
a lot of content. A lot of content with this, uh, with this game. So, it's also a massive download. So, keep, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. It is a massive download. But if you've never experienced these games and it's your only way to experience them, I highly recommend picking them up. If, if you have another means of playing them on the Xbox, you know, PlayStation, you're gonna have a little, you're probably gonna have a little better experience over there. But regardless, I will be checking these games out on the Switch. I'll be doing, I'll be doing some first looks. I'll be doing some live streams. You'll be able to see, uh, you'll be able to see uh, how they're running. Um, so make sure to stay tuned to this channel. Uh, the other thing here, I'm not sure many people are playing it, but Mario Kart Tour uh, got 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 Daisy. Or, I'm sorry, not Daisy. Daisy's already there. Uh, Dixie Kong, Dixie Kong. So this, I mean, this is what I'll say. Mario Kart Tour. I don't, I don't love it myself. It's okay. I've put a little bit of time into it. They've done so many cool things within Mario Kart with this game that it gets me more excited for the sequel coming out, hopefully on the Switch. Nothing's been announced, but if one, if and when Mario Kart 9 is announced, just how creative Nintendo has been with, with Tour gets me pumped for what we could see in, uh, in, in, in a sequel to Mario Kart 8. So there you go. There's your Nintendo News Minute. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, of course, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.